Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earthglow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. So today's video is another candle math video, and this time it's on fragrance blending ratios. Most times when you see people posting fragrance recipes, you will see them expressed in the form of a ratio. Three to two, two to one, one to one are just some examples of ratios. The reason that this is really useful is because if you know the ratio, in other words, the proportions of each ingredient in the blend, then you're easily able to make any batch size of that blend. And it's a really easy concept to understand, even if you don't like math, but it does assume that you already know how to calculate your fragrance percentage from your wax weight. So if you aren't familiar with that, then I will have my other video linked above, and I would highly recommend watching that video um, before watching this one. And if you're a total beginner, I would recommend just making your first few batches with one fragrance just so you can kind of get the hang of things um, because blending fragrances is a little bit of a more advanced concept. Um, but anyways, with all that said, let's get right into today's video and I hope that you enjoy. Now, you might remember learning about ratios back in sixth grade math class, but have forgotten what they mean and how exactly to apply them to fragrance blending in candle making. Now, when we say that a ratio is one to one, it's just like saying for every yellow marker, there's one green marker. And likewise, when we say ratio is three to two, it's just like saying that for every three orange markers, there are two pink markers. Now I made up some fragrance blending worksheets to help make this a little bit easier. So in this example here, I was blending sandalwood with bergamot and I wanted to use three parts of sandalwood for every one part of bergamot. So the very first step here is to just figure out what your parts total are. And all you gotta do is add that three plus one to get four parts total. And so I put a little asterisk down here because this number is going to be the amount of fragrance that is based on your wax weight and the percentage of fragrance that you're using. So you're going to need to know how much fragrance that you need in total for your recipe. And again, if you do need help um, with figuring that out, then definitely check out my other video. So then what you do is you take that number and you divide by your parts total to get that you will need 35 grams of fragrance per part. This um, number right here, this 35 grams of fragrance per part is a really special number. Down here, I'm taking it and I'm wanting to get that three parts of sandalwood. So I'm just gonna multiply it by three. So 35 times three, you get 105 grams of sandalwood. And then to get my one part of bergamot, I'm just going to multiply it by one. And that is just 35 grams of bergamot. So let's say that I want to blend this pipe tobacco and cashmere, my nature's garden, with this fireside by Candle Science. And let's say, let's just call this pipe tobacco and cashmere, pipe tobacco, PT, and cashmere. And I'm blending it with fireside. And let's say this time that we're going to do a five to two. To make it a little harder. Um, it's really not any harder, but let's say we're gonna do a five to two. So I'm just gonna add up that five plus two to get seven parts total. And then down here, again, this asterisk is just a little reminder that this number here is going to be your fragrance amount that your recipe calls for, and that is going to be based on your wax weight and the percentage of fragrance that you're using. So whatever that number is, let's just say for my recipe that I need 200 grams of fragrance. And I just said that I have seven parts total. So I'm gonna plug in a seven right there. And 200 divided by seven, pull out our handy dandy little calculator here. 200 divided by seven. You're usually gonna get a kind of messy number and what you wanna do is round down because with fragrance, it's always okay if you have a tiny bit less, but usually not the other way around. So we're gonna just call this 28 grams of fragrance per part. And so now I already know down here that I have a 28 grams and a 28 grams, and I have 
times how many parts? Well, I already know that I have five parts of pipe, tobacco, and cashmere. So 28 times five, let's clear this out and try 28 times five, and that's gonna give us 140 grams of pipe tobacco and cashmere. And then down here, we have 28 grams times two parts of our fireside. So let's clear out our calculator again. 28 times two, that's just gonna give us 56 grams of fireside. So that is all there is to it. And we would now be ready to measure out our oils. Mm -hmm.